Hello, this is a quick how-to on the new catalog interface. Let's do a search for a title that we're interested in. You'll notice that the new catalog now um, has these tabbed search results. So it's separating out our physical items from our ebook items. And we've also added some additional content in this Digital Academy and article searches, all based on whatever your search terms were that you entered to start with. Um, and so in some cases, this may look very similar. We're scrolling down this list. It looks just the way it always has. There's the place hold button off to the right. There's the tables here showing you where the items are available. But let's try another title that maybe we have lots of copies of. Anne of Green Gables is a good example because it's a classic and it's been revised and republished under different names in different formats. So again, we're scrolling down the list. Here's a classic starter for in juvenile. Here's the graphic novel version. Here's a board book option. And then we get to this one that doesn't look like the rest of them. There's no place hold button. There's no table down here below. It's showing you all of the formats. So you can choose to open here and see here's all the different formats that are available and then expand those. But the quickest way is always just to click on the title. And once you click on the title, you'll get to see all of the formats in the list and you can go down and choose the one that you want. So for example, if you just want the book, there's the book. Again, place hold just like you always would. If you want to find even more, again, you can click on the title and it will give you the detailed information about the title. All the locations, explore, see what else you might like based on that, etc. So that's the quickest way to get from uh, a search to placing a hold or finding which library to go to to find a book. Now the ebooks are going to work exactly the same way. So let's do a search for an author this time, Louise Penny. In this instance, it's defaulted to this print and physical display. So all I have to do is click ebooks and e-audio if that's my preferred format. And I can see the books by Louise Penny. I've got titles here. And again, there's a lot of them that are showing up without all the extra buttons over here. So that tells me it's available in two formats. And because I'm looking at ebooks, I know I have limited options. So I'm going to try open all formats over to the right. There's the e-audio and the ebook. Everything's from Overdrive. Um, so again, I can choose to click here to go just to that copy, or I can click the title, which is probably always going to be the easiest. And then I've got both of them. I can choose which format I want, and I can place the hold. Um, so that's how that works. It's a little bit different from what we're used to, but it works pretty much the same way.